Okay, the next style that we're going to cover is a shuffle. These are really fun. The dancers love this. You're going to hear this in honky tonk, uh, tonks wherever you may go. So basically, the kind of the gist of the shuffle is where the train beat you kind of play on the front end. You know, um, uh, it can be normally the train beats are a lot faster. Uh, shuffles are kind of more for dancers, you know, and you're typically going to have a walking bass line where you just kind of have a one and a five note happening or just boom, chick, boom, chick with, with the train beats. So the shuffle, there's a lot more, in my opinion, a little bit more feel and always pay attention to the drums and the bass and what they're doing because the shuffle can be done in a two, four shuffle where the bass player is playing a lot less notes. So for this uh, particular example, we're in G. So I'm just going to play like something like and the drummer is pretty much kind of riding uh, maybe the ride cymbal or the a hi-hat pattern, uh, giving you a nice, hopefully, big, deep pocket. Whereas a walking bass line that you might encounter might be... So it's two different type of feels that you wind up having a little bit in a shuffle. Um, some of the forms that you might encounter, they're all going to vary, but, you know, listen to some Ray Price or something like that. I mean, that, that person comes to mind is just, just a shuffle just that you just want to dance to. And as guitar players, you know, our job is to not only kind of comp the chords depending on what, you know, uh, what the chords are for the particular song, but if we do get a chance to do, what you're going to see in this next example is kind of understanding form, where you're going to kind of borrow the back half of the chorus to play an intro. If I don't know a shuffle and I'm playing, let's say, in Nashville downtown or with anyone anywhere, um, they may say, okay, well, you don't know this song. It's a shuffle that I wrote. I go, okay, well, what are the chords? Um, you know, normally I ask for just kind of sing me a little bit of the melody and then play normally the back half of the chorus because that's what you're going to encounter a lot, especially in those Ray Price uh, types of um, uh, shuffles. So some of the other techniques we're going to uh, expand upon, definitely double stops, open string notes, um, single note lines. Uh, and but we're going to have a little bit of a different feel to it. So really, what we're more is in on the back half of that rhythm, depending on the on the chord. Some of the stuff that you may kind of uh, encounter is, and what I like doing is kind of maybe just borrowing from what a, a pedal steel uh, would wind up doing, or think of what a fiddle would do. If if you have twin fiddles, that's kind of where the whole double stop, uh, uh, you know, idea kind of came from. Um, basically, there's we're utilizing all the different country techniques that uh, are available in this type of pattern. So as we uh, move along to this example, just kind of pay attention to, you know, uh, what I wind up doing in this example, and I will break it down uh, uh, after the performance. So um, shuffles are really cool to have. It's something that it helps you work on your rhythm. So some of the licks that I might wind up playing, and let's, for this example, say that we're in G, is make sure that you kind of have that rhythm element. Listen to if the bass player is walking or not. You're going to kind of swing a little bit. That's why I like shuffles, that it, it opens up the playbook um, to, to fun rhythms that, that have a swung type of feel to them. So we're in G. So that might be a lick that I wind up doing over a G chord, and you can kind of feel that it's got that swung type of feel. And that's just over the G chord. So as we dive into this solo, I'm going to show you all sorts of different ways um, to wind up being able to play over these chord changes for this particular example. But shuffles in general is, are, are a ton of fun. I definitely recommend uh, learning as many of them as you can. And uh, let's wind up getting to the uh, example that I've got for you. <laughs> 